All right, so I'm listening to 80 meters right now on the Hammett Up. I've uh, dropped the gain down to only 7.7 .7 dB, but uh, it's got, because these guys are so local, although they're, they've both stepped down their power, but I can definitely crank it back up and, and bring them up. But not the best SNR as uh, it's still a little bit early in the, uh, in the evening for, for this band. Let's check out what's happening on 40 meters here. So, geez, I got some glare off the... Uh... Okay, so let's head to 40 meters. We're at 42.09. Let me zoom out. You can see it's not as well populated. It was pretty kicking a little bit earlier. Lots and lots of broadcast. There we go. There's some ham stations. I do have my contrast set pretty high, but my gain pretty low. Um, and that's just a personal preference, it's just I, I like a slightly cleaner uh, display. So we've got a station right here that we'll find and listen to. Alright, so these guys are also local. Uh, I'm in in VE7 land here. I'm at uh, VE7 BFC currently. So let me show you what I'm running. Let me turn down the noise and I'll show you what I'm running. So, oh, that got really blurry. There's uh, some C-dub going on there. I'm going to crank up the gain a bit just so I can watch for other stations. And there's another station kicking in right around here, but we're, we're pretty low in the band. So, I'm going to zoom out and find that there are some monster signals. So of course I'm up at 20 dB here. I'm going to turn it down back. Oh, and these are broadcasters, so that's why they're so huge. Uh, there is some SSB stuff right in here, which is fine. So what am I running? I'm running SDR, uh, one of these little dongles with the MCX connector on it, and I'm running a, a custom cable that I bought off eBay that goes to an SMA cable, or sorry, an SMA connector. Uh, and then connects to this unit, the Ham It Up, um, which I then have a uh, RG58 based <laughs> cable that uh, comes back and is just temporarily patched uh, into the uh, antenna that goes up to the roof for 80 and 40. What do I have here? Well, this is my other unit, my other SDR. And uh, I've taken this one out of the package and, and put it into a case to see if that would help with the noise. And it did. It sure did. Um, but noise is not much of an issue here, so I've got it off temporarily. The issue is when I have it at home. It's because I've got so much computer stuff and all kinds of other junk running um, that is, I guess, noisier than, than this other stuff. I'm using a USB hub just so that I can power everything from that instead of having to... Uh, to use the, the built-in power in the laptop just because it's probably a little more current than I'd like to run through the laptop. So it works really good. I've got two different SDRs running at the same time. Um, actually, I think for noise sake, I, I, I turned off the other one because uh, the audio was getting a little bit too much for me. Um, oh, so this radio right here on uh, 3783, I was just messing around. This is the IC7600 at the V7 BFC club site. Oops, now we're way out of band. Uh, come on, go back. Okay, uh, this is the PW1 amplifier and our, uh, our rotor and the bencher, um, but I got off track. The, uh, the actual meat and potatoes here is this SDR, which is the main reason I'm making this video, but because SDR Sharp is designed in such a way that it can be run in multiple instances, if I can find it here, I thought I had multiple instances, oh, no, oh, anyway, my demo is failing miserably here, oh, I do have two instances open, so I can, I can, uh, grab the other SDR unit, which is this guy here, you'll see I've got two of them, so I'm going to try to connect to this one, nope, continue, Continue. Quit. Of course, as soon as I want to do a demo. Crap, time's running out on me here and I gotta roll. Alright, we'll bring up another instance. There it is. We'll wait a couple seconds for it to finish airing out. We'll go to, T uh, to 
SB, wah wah wah. And it won't let me select this other guy. It normally works, but of course, Murphy's Law, as soon as I try to do a demo, it's going to fail. Anyway, folks, that's uh, that's the station. That's the uh, the testing that I'm doing. Hope you enjoy it.